In this video I'll show you how to delete photos from your Samsung Galaxy Android phone. If you have taken pictures, maybe you took too many pictures and you want to delete some of them. For example, I took now some pictures. I'm keeping taking pictures and you can even do this with videos. So I can record the video now. And this, this video, it might not be something useful. Like you see, it's just a keyboard and out of dust. Pause the video, I finished recording the video and now I go to the gallery. So you go to the gallery app and you see you have a lot of a lot of video files, pictures that are really not useful. So I have this video, I don't want it. I have this picture, which you really don't want to see too close. Camera pictures, I, these are just test pictures I did now to show you how to delete the photos. You can delete photos and videos multiple at once, many, or one by one. So I can delete one photo here. I press on this bin and then it says move to recycle bin. The photo is not permanently deleted. You can still recover it until 30 days pass after the deletion date and time. And then it's uh, deleted completely. It's a recycle bin just like on the computer. And the video, I have this video here. I can also use this bin icon. You can see the details of the video and it's, it's 141 megabytes for one video that is not useful, so I don't need it. I tap on the bin icon and move to recycle bin. This is how I do it. I can, to delete multiple files, I can long press on each one I want to delete and I can choose to delete all these files. They are selected now and if I choose delete, it will delete six files and it will tell me move six images to the recycle bin and yeah. So now I have those pictures in the recycle bin and I will show you how to recover them if you did them by mistake. And for that you go, we are still in the gallery app and you go into this option here, tap on recycle bin. After, when you get into the recycle bin, you see this message that tells you that they will be deleted permanently after 30 days. So you can press on one of these pictures and after you press on it, you can restore or permanently delete to save space. If you want to restore these three pictures, you can select multiple files like this. And then here, press restore. So all I do here, I select them and press, I press the restore option here. Once you go back to your pictures, you will see the files that they are there as they were never deleted. So this is how to delete pictures and also how to restore pictures in your gallery app. You can also use the files app from Google to delete pictures and restore pictures. I can either go to images directly or go to the internal storage. So here I see the pictures in the file manager. I actually see the pictures, the file name and the details of the file. So I see the size, file size, the file date when they were created. And also the folder is internal storage DCIM or however it's called camera for Samsung Galaxy phones. This is where the camera saves these uh, files. And you can see here, you can see the large file so I can select these files and the same option I can choose to move them to the bin or if I'm sure I want to get rid of them I can choose delete permanently and this will delete the files permanently it will skip the bin but be careful with this you don't want to delete the files the wrong files so I deleted them now they are gone and I can move these ones into the bin. When you're, it's asking you about moving the files to the bin. Five files moving to the bin. Okay. This is how you did uh, pictures and how you restore pictures using the Samsung Gallery app and also using the Google Files Manager app. I hope this helps you. Let me know in the comment section below if this is what you need and uh, why you did the files. You can also copy the files to your computer or to external hard drive. If you don't have enough space on your phone, 
and you, the reason if the reason why you're deleting pictures and videos is not enough space not enough space on the phone you can use an external ssd to copy the files to move them or a computer or laptop to save them somewhere else thanks for watching